guys, welcome to FA channel. We're all about celebrating our technology and creativity. A little while ago, we test about this full body tracking app, and a lot of people really like our video. Since then, we on I think on Twitter we start to follow a lot of creators and people who try out with different methods to do the full body tracking. We find out this indie developer in Japan that they're you they're developing this uh, software called Mocha for All. We've been following them. They have some cool posts and showing how they use different like phone camera or webcam to motion cap capture your whole body. So in this episode, let's go test out how accurate it is, how good it is. And to be honest, it takes us a while to figure this out. So it's definitely not that easy. If you are serious about full body tracking and have money to invest, you, of course you need a full body tracking suit. This is like a indie software that we really just want to try and see how 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 cool it is for just some developer to make it happen, and it's actually working. It will just take a while for you to do the setup. So. With, with this web, with this software, there are two versions. One is a free version that you can, they have most of the functions. You can do the motion capture, but if you wanted to, for example, go to the VR chat and do the full body tracking, that's another paid version. I think it's around $90. If you want to do the commercial reason that you can't use the free version, it's just for the testing. But $90 is pretty decent price to, to invest for a full body tracking if it's very accurate. So I will show you how it works and it's up to you if you wanted to purchase or not. Because with the, which we also tried it with the VR chat, which we will talk more in the next episode. But with the VR chat free version, you can only have 10 seconds you can track and then another 10 seconds will be stopped. So they just try to make it for you to test it, but you can't really use it with a full function unless you pay for it. An, interest, an interesting fact is the official website was talking about if you wanted to use, you can use up to 100 cameras to capture your whole full body tracking and then minimum two cameras. We're using two today because how many people actually can have like a hundred cameras? Like. <laughs> I don't know how many people can do that. And you really need like a whole big studio to make it happen. But the fact this developer can make something like this with everyone have the access. So if you can get a oh, hundred cameras set up, super powerful computer, maybe you can have a really good mo uh, motion capture exper experience, but why not just get a tracking suit? So, so yeah, it's up to you to decide. <laughs> Um, okay, let's get started. Talk about the process. Before we get started, also there's one one thing I want to point out is with this software there are two versions. One is GPU version and one CPU version. The GPU version is very complicated, so I'm not gonna touch that. We're gonna use the CPU version, and we will put the website link underneath our video. So let's get started. Once you click on that link, you will see their website pop up. There will be files for you to download. There are seven files right there and you will, all we need to download is four files. The first one is a readme file, which contains all the instructions and installers. The other one is a CPU, CPU version one, two, three. So that's all the file you need to download. You can start with the unzip readme file, which contains instruction and installer for the GPU version and the CPU version. We'll only use the CPU version. And then now you can move this installer, which is the unzip CPU free to the same folder with the other, other three zip file, part one, two, three. Now you can double click installer, installation starts. Once you finished installation, you can start a mocap for all exe file. Now you will see the window pop up. On the left corner of this window, you will see add camera. That's where you start. We start by adding cameras. 
So as I mentioned before, officially you can add up to 100 cameras. In this case, we'll only add two webcams, which is the minimum cameras you can add. So we have these two cameras, the placement, the location, you have to put at least 90 degrees or more different. So one camera, it's fa if one camera is facing you, show the face uh, facing you, the other one should be 90 degree and capture the side face. Now you see on this like mocha for all exit file folder, you will see another two marker PNG file. Those PNG files are very important. One is called intrinsic calibration, which is to calibrate the uh, field of view of the camera. And the other one is extrinsic calibration, which is calibrating the camera locations. We'll show you how we did it in the video later on. With this extrinsic calibration file, the PNG file, you have to print out. And then again, on the official website, it said you can print to A3 paper, but I, I'm pretty sure most people doesn't have A3 paper. So we did try with the letter size paper, which is pretty common to use, and then it still works. So what we did, we print out this paper and place it on the floor. Because the paper is small, so when you can see on the left wing, down the window, you can choose the resolution of the image. So we kind of make the resolution higher to capture this paper wall. So it's up to you. If you have A3 paper, of course, that's better to capture it. And then your resolution can be lower to balance out for the better performance because you will slow, if your resolution is high, maybe you will slow down the computer. Also, if you have a huge space, you can use your webcam horizontally. With our, in our case, we put it vertically. The point is to capture your T pose and make sure your whole body is in the camera, inside the camera, so it's easy to, to recognize your whole body. So once you decide, like once you make sure your whole body is in, now it's time to calibrate the intrinsic calibration. So we put it on the other device, which is my laptop, because it's easier to carry. And then we already have the two cameras on the location already set there. So all you need to do is bring this, the bring this device and then let it calibrate by itself. And you will he hear this notification sound. Yeah, after you hear the notifications, notification sound means it's already calibrating, right? Now is to calibrating the extrinsic calibration. Usually will be recognized right away. If it's not, means maybe the resolution of your image is not high enough. If that in that case, you may have to restart everything all over again. Keep in mind, like we spent maybe four hours to do all this. It's, of course, we, we, we tried different kinds of way to figure out the easiest way for you guys to do, but it is take a long time. And then the, depends on the space, right? Depends on your camera resolution, space, the location, the, every little thing counts. So in our case, it takes a bit longer than we imagined, than, than we thought. But as you can see, once you start to calibrating and everything set up, it's actually uh, capture really well. When I was dancing around testing, moving around the default avatar, you can see it's not facing forward. So we, what you can do is like turn the paper underneath you, turn it 100 degree and recalibrate it. Then it's good to go. The last thing is, of course, I want to import my own VRM file, my own avatar. So all you need to do is drag the VRM file into the mocap for all window. Now you have your avatar dancing, <laughs> moving, capturing yourself with two webcams. That's actually pretty magical. And then this app just launched. We just keep following this developer and he's very, they're super interesting and they always testing new things. I'm sure in the future it will be better and easier. Let me, let me know how it turns out with your computer, with your camera, how everything goes. I can't wait to hear about your process. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Go try it out. Okay, 
that's it that's it for this video and then we'll show you the next video testing the vr chat and how well it goes that's it for today's video please subscribe our channel for new updates every week thank you for your support i'll see you guys in the next video